Hello, Mayors. Welcome back to Build It with Smith. I'm your host, Smith, and in today's episode, we will be closing up our Best City Layout for Beginner series. Now, to review, in episode one, we placed service buildings and we laid out our roads. In episode two, we placed residential buildings and we made sure that our factories and industrial buildings that create pollution were far enough away from our residential buildings. Now, in this final episode, we are going to upgrade more buildings and add specialization items like parks to boost population. Now, different parts have different size population data layers, and they also have different percentage boosts, like uh, some parts will give you a 5% boost, while others will give you a 25% boost. Uh, but some of these parts cost way more than what we want to spend at this point. So we're just going to go with these small fountain parts and see what that does. Uh, now see how this part adds 18 more population points, or whatever you call it. Uh, and this one over here adds only 10. Well, that's because uh, the population data layer of that first part uh, touches more buildings than the second one and some of the buildings that it touches are upgraded a little more so they hold more population I, I hope that makes sense all right now let's take a look at our city seems as though a lot of my sims are upset about the water and sewage so we'll just address those later um, I want to try to clear out some space to place some landscape items in order to boost the population uh, in this area that we have here. And I'm also constantly adjusting the roads as I go along, so some roads can get deleted. Um, so I've added some landscape and some parks to help boost the population in this central area here. Now pay attention to the wealth forecast. Uh, this determines what kind of homes your next upgrade will result in. Uh, there are standard homes, premium homes, and luxurious homes. And the colors indicate uh, which type of home you have. You can change the type of upgrade you get by adding more buildings that boost population to that area. Now, take a look as we upgrade some homes. All right, so let's check back in on our city and see some of those results from the upgraded homes. I also cleared up uh, some of the water and sewage problems that the Sims were complaining about. Now lastly, now that we're satisfied with our city and our current layout, we're going to upgrade the roads so that we don't run into any problems with traffic. Okay guys, a couple of things. First of all, uh, Happy New Year's. It is January 1. 2018 um thank you for 2,000 subscribers at this point maybe i know i'm like about five away as i'm recording this video so hopefully five more people find my channel and subscribe let me know what kind of uh what kind of content you want in 2018 i'm thinking about doing more of these uh city layout type of videos and then of course some tips and tricks and things like that but anyway thank you all for your support and i hope uh this is a great new year's day for you guys uh thanks for watching comment with the name of your city and uh have a great rest of the day